All right, guys, so it's Wednesday morning about, I don't know, 10, 10.30. Jason just showed up here at the shop as well. Nine o'clock. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Sorry, we got an extra hour then. So what I want to show you here is what we eventually found out for sure was the intake gaskets that I've got from Alky Digger here. They're a little bit thicker. Not really going to help the situation to line the ports up, but the coolant passage is a lot smaller than what we had here. So again, letting that intake base of it right up here in this upper area so coolant was going under and then coming out into the valley there we'll get this all cleaned up put that on there get the intake sat back on the blower and everything else plus we've got other things to take care of like um i don't know jason mounted some tires but as you can see they're not even on the trailer back there but I suppose at this point we need something running before we worry about getting a trailer ready. So the plan is going to be we'll get all this stuff put back on. Uh, we're going to fire it up. Normally my oldest brother runs the dyno. It's his equipment. But we're going to try and run it. I've done it before. We'll run it if there's just minor tweaks from a 482 to 522 cubic inch. We'll make those adjustments in the fuel. And according to the intake, you know, it's going to change some stuff. If we can get it good enough, we're going to pull this off, run it. If we need to wait... Like I showed you, the trailer, the wiring, and everything else. We've got plenty of work we can do until 5 tonight, if need be. But hopefully everything goes well, and we can fire this up here shortly. What are we doing now? <laughs> Shoo, buddy! More at the bottom or the whole way? <laughs> what? <laughs> Probably the whole way I would just kind of... That's what I did, I went the whole way. Yeah, I did the left one there. <laughs> Alright, so it's all back together. Got the blower intake, hat, and everything on. Jason's just topping off the oil there because we did lose some. We actually went ahead and pulled the pan off just to make sure the pan was 100% clean. Was some water residue in there. Went ahead and ran the uh, dry sump pump a bit just to make sure everything is lubricated. And yeah, we need to set timing on the dominator. Jason needs to verify it so we can make that match. I don't know, what else? That's about it. I do not have the idle air control hooked up because our ports on the back of the intake that we drilled, the one, obviously we've got a mess going on here, but the one the one down below here actually had to plug off. And yeah, it's just gonna be maybe a little hard starting, but we'll hook that up when it's actually in the truck. At this point, yeah, I'll get the computer fired up and let's see what we got. Moods have increased a little bit since we actually have a motor possibly. Oh, and listen closely, you hear anything? <laughs> Just Jason crapping his pants. All right, let's get the dominator fired up and get this baby timed. Fuel pump. Ignition's on. You're gonna have to try and start it off. Got your dry sump belts on. Water's flowing and everything over there. The water's on. When this is on where it needs to be. Just that ain't on until. Whatever, I got cool in town. Alright. Okay. No. 
Okay, so as you've seen in all those clips there, we went ahead and downloaded it. I didn't even have time between pulls. What we ended up doing was we ran out of fuel injector. I'm running 160 pound Holly injectors. And thank you to Andy for hooking us up. We've got two different sets in here, but we made them work. So we're spraying in a pattern of, I think they call it bank to bank. So these spray and then these as a set. So it doesn't matter, these are uh, built specialties or billet atomizers. These are 550s and these are 500s. But we got that to all work out in the end. We were running, I think when we were trying to do some pulls, like, you know, 144% duty cycle, which is obviously not good. This brought it down to 30%, but the biggest problem we found when we got back here, taking it off the dyno, is this hose here, which was going to our map sensor, which has a gaping hole in it, which means we pretty much tuned this to run around a massive intake leak. So we're gonna have to get it together, which we're getting close. Headers, coolant lines, the hat, and the main thing is going to be the computer. So we're gonna keep going at that. Oh, and we gotta put the fuel system back in. We gotta put the fuel pump in, which is not gonna take long at all. So we're gonna keep plugging away. Jason's cleaning out the oil filter housing, the clear view. We'll get fresh oil put in, and we'll catch you when we fire this thing up. So there you have it. I'm not sure how much video footage I have for this one either. It's probably gonna to be total just blotch stuff together, but we're done. Death trap is out behind me and total mess inside the shop. So that's gonna be a wrap on this video. We got Jason coming down, my brother, with my dad's Duramax, and he's gonna pull that inside. We gotta change the oil in that. Fuel filter, just make sure everything's good to go. Went ahead, rented a U-Haul trailer because the triple car is gonna be too much to too much to pull for just taking one vehicle. We were gonna take my car down with us, but means it's last minute. That's not gonna happen. So let's get this pulled in here. Put a little footage in of a little test run with the death trap here and it seems to be running pretty good. So I think we're ready for Cleus and Cars Houston. We'll see you guys down there. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Whoa!